Hello and welcome to the Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. Our game against Tottenham, the 2-0 victory against Tottenham, would be our best performance this season so far and also one of the best performances I've seen us um, perform in the last few years. We controlled the game from the beginning to the end. Very, very, very important. We are superb. They didn't even have much shot thrown at us. We basically played them half feet for most of the game because we were just attacking and attacking and attacking um, their posts. We had a lot of chances because we were able to create a lot of chances. Anthony, Bruno, Dalo, everybody had shot thrown at Hugo Ilioris, who probably um, was um, the busier keeper because he had a lot of shots saved. He was very good also today, but he still considered two goals and we won. And also, Fred was superb today. Fred was very, very good. Fred and Casemiro were pivotal to our game play and um, they were, of course, very good. Casemiro is a DM we have been craving for for the past years. We have been wishing, begging for. And he came and I was surprised when he was on the bench for some time, but that was the hard decision. But since he has been starting, he has been superb and he's locked down his place in that midfield because he's very, very important. He does his job. He's world class. So he's awesome. Fred was very good today, but we know Fred can be inconsistent. But anyway, he was good and we hope you can see those kind of performances from Fred um, in more games. Although I don't think he will probably fit um, against Chelsea because we can't play the way we played against Tottenham um, against Chelsea on Saturday. But let's see what they have, uh, they have decided to do. But Casemiro, like I said, was very good. It was very vital to how, to how we want to play. And um, yeah, it was definitely world class. Varane pocketed Son 100%. Varane, well, Son was in the pocket of uh, Varane. And to my, to, to, not to my surprise anyway, because everybody, all the media outlets were like, the guy is shot and every other thing but martinez also pocketed kane today kane didn't have anything to do in short like i said our defense our defense is awesome right now they have really solved our defensive problem Varan and martinez are superb kane and son didn't do any much against us today we locked them down simple and short so of course our defense was very good we kept the clean sheets um, Dalo was also very good. He did his job well. Shaw was also good. Most, not even all, all the players performed their role um, superbly. Rashford could have got two goals, you no, know, but he missed his chances. But he was also good. Um, Sancho also was good. Gave a good assist and and um, also he was overall average, but not not poor for Sancho. Then um, also Anthony was Anthony was very very good. He's, first time i saw him you no know, running at players you know trying to dribble past players which he did and it was awesome he got a, a shot um to the bar he had some few chances which you would have scored but some hit the bar and um but generally anthony was okay and the team played beautifully well today this uh, like i said before at the beginning this is the best performance i've seen from us this season and the best one of the best performance i've seen for us in the last few years honestly we controlled the game from the beginning to the end and that is something we have um, never done because our head usually drops uh, drops uh, maybe at half time or something like that or when we concede but we did not concede and uh, generally everybody was superb bruno gave us the performance of a captain and i would not forget his performance today he was superb and i hope we keep on seeing such performances from him i know we know some incident happened with Ronaldo leaving early, but I'm going to talk about it in another video. But generally, the game against Tottenham was superb, and kudos to Tottenham and his team selection because he got his right and we won the game. And our next game is against Chelsea, and we we'll look to see how we perform against Chelsea. Of course, his tactics is not going to be the same against Chelsea, but let's see um, how we fare against Chelsea. And the build-up to Chelsea game begins immediately, and we're going to hear from Tottenham today. What he thinks about what Ronaldo did and every other thing and the preparations for Chelsea game. Stay tuned for more. Is the power struggle between Cristiano Ronaldo and Eric Ten Hag? But of course, nobody is bigger than the club, and I will not condone the actions of Ronaldo. But stay tuned for more, and I will see you on the next video.